I put a spyware on my girlfriend's phone, and what I found out is. Updates. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Reddit cheating story. Before we start, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you won't miss another cheating story goes live. Her father arrived 5.30 in the morning I opened the door to let him in. I was covered in blood. He was amazingly calm, considering how I looked, he calmly asked me some questions and if I was okay. I mumbled some gibberish. He went inside to find his daughter while I just stood there holding the door. Shortly after Kay came out to talk to me. I stared at him for a minute then I just passed out. I woke up in the hospital, it's three months ago now. Kay stayed with me the first few weeks after our return home, he was scared I was going to off myself again. I haven't talked a word to my ex fiance I changed my phone number I blocked her email address and all access on social media. She has come to my door a few dozen times, she talks through the door, sometimes she talks four hours. She talks about how sorry she is she begs for forgiveness. She has told me that she has broken it off with the AP, that the APS wife is divorcing him, that she's been fired because the APS wife reported them to HR. When she comes I just sit right inside the door I listen to her and cry. I know it's really F up. I'm just torturing myself. I haven't responded to her yet. She's told me that she could see the door move when I leaned against it so she knows I'm there. I haven't healed anything, I still love her like crazy, but my heart and soul is just too damaged. I am full of anger, hatred and shame. I know I can never go back to her, it would totally destroy what little self-esteem and self-respect I still have. The confrontation at her parents' place, telling the APS wife, it gave me nothing to feel better about. If anything I regret not just walking away. People have been telling me at some point go numb or becoming different, I hope that day is soon for me, because right now every day is hell. Firstly thank you everybody for all your great advice, I ended up deciding to try to talk to her parents to see whether or not they could get her to stop coming to my door. I don't really care what her reasons are, I don't care what she wants. I realize now that's my perception of her and who she actually is in real life are two different people. So she can take a long walk off a short pier for all I care, I just want her out of my life so I can move on. Maybe I get a cat or something. Anyway before I was ready to talk to her parents, her dad showed up at my door. He had a six pack of my favorite beer and he asked if we could talk, I said sure and told him I'm on my way out. Maybe we could walk and talk? I didn't want him to come inside, not just because I've been a mess and my apartment reflects that. I didn't want to let him in and maybe suddenly his daughter would be at the door or something. Or if it got awkward, I didn't want to have to tell him to leave. I am not big on confrontation as you know. He popped two bottles of beer, and he just started to talk. Initially he apologized on behalf of his daughter, then he tells me that his wife and daughter had been pressuring him to go see me to somehow get me to talk to his daughter. He proceeded to tell me that he had no intention of doing that, quite the contrary he supported my decisions and actions. He told me that his daughter was spoiled and selfish, and that he hoped that for once she would have to face the full consequences of our actions. Maybe, he hoped, she could be a better person in the future. Then he got really weird, really fast, he started asking me a lot of questions about how I was. The questions were leading, and it was obvious that he was hopeful that I was in a lot of pain. What in the actual F? It was like he was anticipating me being in a lot of pain and that he would enjoy seeing that? It freaked me out, so I told him the complete opposite. That I was over his daughter, that it didn't really bother me that much. I was very happy now and moving on etc. He seems very disappointed in this, I have no idea why. Then he went on to talk about my ex's pain. His tone was all wrong when he did this, he was trying to hide it, but he seemed gleeful, that he was enjoying it. I noped right out of it at that point, I pretended I forgot something at home, I said goodbye and ran off. I'm done with my ex now, you strangers snapped me out of it. I am ready to move on. It still hurts like a mother f and my self-esteem and ego is still shot. But I am done I am ready to move on. A lot of you were right I think. I dodged a bullet, not just with her, but probably with the rest of her family as well. What kind of father is gleeful of his child's suffering? Once again thank you everybody for all your help. Thank you everybody again for all your great advice. After the feedback on my last post I realized that maybe I misread the situation with her father. He has always been great to me, and I have a lot of respect for him. I decided to give him a call and just talk to him. You guys were right, his leading questions to me was because he was trying to find out if there was any chance of me going back to his daughter. He said he was hopeful for that and that I was good for her. Even though he said she didn't deserve me. 
that made me feel really good about myself for a while, that he recognized that. The reason he was smiling when he talked about his daughter was the culmination of a lifelong argument with his wife about her parenting style. He had told her so many times over the years that letting her daughter get away with things, spoiling her, not giving her discipline etc. This would have severe negative consequences in the future. His biggest regret with his daughter was letting his wife overrule him on this. He was smiling and being gleeful in anticipation of telling his wife he was right. I asked him if everything was okay between us and there was no problems at all. But he jokingly said, maybe it was time for him to get a divorce. Apparently the confrontation between him and his wife and daughter didn't go that well after meeting me. But this time he told me, he wasn't going to back down. This seemed to be a fight that had been a long time coming for him. As for Kay. He has been great, as he always is, he has been supporting me and encouraging me all along. Now that I am out of it, I realize how right he was that one day I would be proud of what I had done. I stood up for myself, something I usually never do, and I feel awesome from it. 100% will do again in the future when necessary. My ex showed up again at my door, and I actually talked to her this time, she begged me to let her in so we could talk. But I wasn't going to talk to her on her terms, if I was going to talk to her it would be on my terms. I told her okay, but I had some things to do and that I would meet her at a local park in half an hour. I didn't want her inside in my mess. And as some of you pointed out, maybe she could make some accusations or something if I met her alone. Strangely enough I wasn't nervous, felt kinda good actually. For once in my life I felt pretty sure of myself. Anyways I went to the park, she was there crying. I sat down, we had some meaningless small talk. She tried to interrogate me about what me and her father talked about, I told her that was private between me and him and frankly, none of her business. I was starting to get bored so I asked her what she wanted to talk about. She then went into this hour-long tirade about how sorry she was, she loved me so much, how wrong it was, how she hurt me, yada yada. She begged for me to consider reconciling. She would do anything. I told her I forgive her because I don't want to carry that anger, hatred and hurt anymore. But no. Getting back together? That is never going to happen. People who love other people don't do what she did to me. Her actions proved beyond any doubt that she is not a nice person. Nice people don't do what she did. I can never trust her again. I told her I want to live my life with a nice person that I can trust, a person that appreciates and loves me. And due to her actions she is no longer a viable candidate for that role in my life. She cried hysterically, I sat there and watched, it was strange, I have never felt that detached from anybody. I actually felt upset about how little I cared. This indifference isn't me, I can't remember any other time at least. I called her dad to come get her, I told her that I hoped she would get some counseling and fix herself, something was obviously broken inside of her. I tried to encourage her that she would get through this, but she didn't really want to hear any of that. Her dad came, I explained the situation to him. I told her I wish her all the best and good luck. Then I got an Uber went to the local animal shelter and adopted a kitten. I named the kitten Shiny, K joked that he was blinded by my new shiny spine. So kitten's name is Shiny to always remind me to stand up for myself. I am happy I managed to take the high road and just be honest with her without yelling or calling her names. I've been playing with my amazing kitten, having a lot of fun and K is coming over later to play some video games and swing down some beers. I am sad about my ex, I feel sorry for her. I will miss the good times we had but I'm also relieved that I am done with this now. I received some hard uncomfortable truths from some of you, but it was what I needed to hear. Thank you Reddit you helped me to finally stand up for myself and deal with this. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for any future cheating stories.